In this video, I'm going to answer the questions, how do you fix a losing option trade and how do you manage option trades if they go wrong? I'm going to do this by sharing with you several of my real life examples so you can see exactly what you need to do in order to repair a losing option trade and turn it into a profitable one. I will give you three techniques you can use to manage and repair your option trades. I'm also going to give you a little known bonus fourth technique you can use to turn a bad option trade into a new profitable one. I am Randy Perez. I'm a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Typically on this channel, I like to focus on trades that have gone in our direction or in our favor. But at the request of Nick, one of our patrons, as well as several other subscribers to this channel, today we're going to do the complete opposite. We're going to focus on how to handle the situation when everything goes wrong in your option trading. Here you see an example of a short put option position that went massively against us in UPS. These are the three trades I want to focus on with this UPS position. As you know, the market went absolutely crazy in February and March of 2020. However, we did not know that on February 11th of 2020 when we sold the March 20th $95 put option for 61 cents. At that time, UPS was trading for around $105 per share. So it's a put option that was $10 out of the money and a decent return. Well, what happened? Here you see on the chart that UPS dropped like pretty much the entire market did from 105 a share to when we rolled this put option out and down on March 12th, UPS was trading at about $85 per share. Notice the exact trade that we did. Here is where we begin to manage and fix this losing option trade. You see at the curved blue arrow that on March 12th, we bought to close the March $95 put option. That cost us $9.13 per share, as you can see under the cost to buy column. We rolled the short strike price down $7.50 to almost where the stock will be trading at, and we went out three months to June of 2020. For selling the June 2020 $87.5 put option, we were paid $11.73 per share. So we were able to roll our short put option down by almost 8% and still pocket a credit of $2.60 by going out three months in time. If you're selling put options and a stock has moved against you, this is the first tool that you should pull out of your tool bag to fix the trade. Try to roll your short put option strike price down. If you need to, go out several months to make that happen. Here you see that we were able to almost get our short strike price from being deep in the money to back at the money and pocket some cash while we did that. Well, what happened? Over the next several months, UPS stabilized and actually began to slowly go up in value. Almost three months later on June 5th, we were able to buy to close that June 2020 $87.5 short put option back for only 10 cents. This is the trade that went really bad on us really fast. But by rolling the short strike price down and out, we we're able to pocket some decent money and turn a massively losing trade into a winner. Next, I'll share with you a second awesome technique that you can use to repair your option trades that have gone wrong. A second technique you might want to consider using is what I did here in Dow Chemicals. This technique involves selling call options against a short but deep in the money put option. Basically, you're turning this into something that resembled a covered call strategy. Again, we go back to the spring of 2020 because that's the perfect time to pick some trades that massively went against us because the market crashed so hard and so fast. Here you see the position we were in with Dow. We initially sold put options starting back on January 21st of 2020. We rolled that put option out on March 10th after Dow's price crashed on us. We rolled it out to June at that same $45 strike price. Dow crashed 39% in a month and a half. It crashed so fast and hard there was really no legitimate options to roll our strike price down for a break even or even for a small credit. There just weren't any good possibilities without taking a large debit to roll the strike price down, even if I went really far out of time. So the second technique that I used was to not only roll the short put option out in time by three months, but also I began selling short call options against the stock that generates some cash flow. This is something you want to be careful with because really you are short a naked call option. But the way I figured the situation was that since my short option was so deep in the money, I was basically long the stock. By selling call options in Dow, I turn this overall position into something similar to a covered call option. This will work well as long as Dow didn't go back above my short put option strike price. Here you see we rolled these short call options two times before we closed them out for 10 cents a share on August 20th. At that point, Dow had recovered and I did not want to be short those call options anymore. 
So by selling call options against the deep in the money put option that we had sold, we turned this into a cash flow machine while we waited for Dow's price to come back up so the short put options we sold would be worthless. In the end, we were in this Dow position for about eight months. And even though the stock had crashed 39% early on in this trading scenario, we were able to walk away with a nice profit. If this is the kind of information that you find helpful, that you're receiving benefit from, please hit the like button below. It goes a long way towards supporting this channel and it helps me know that this is the kind of content you want me to continue making for you. A third technique you might want to consider if a short put option moves massively against you is to consider switching the short put option over to a long leap call option position. This is an especially good technique to use if you think that the stock has the potential to rebound, but you want to minimize your future potential loss if the stock continues to decline. Here you see a position that we use this technique on in Pepsi. In the top red rectangle, you see that initially I sold the April 120 put option on January 21st. Unfortunately, this was a couple months before the big crash in March. Pepsi crashed from around $145 down to $100 per share. I, like many investors, found myself in the middle of another bad trade. Pepsi, an extremely stable and solid company, was down 31% in just 30 days. If I had known that the market was going to reverse so quickly, I would have just stayed in my short put position. But back then, we really didn't know how everything was going to play out. So I wanted to minimize any more downside risk by swapping the short put position over to a long leap position. In the red boxes, you see all the short puts that I sold in Pepsi. The blue boxes are where I switched over to a leap thread. As you can see on March 20th, I bought the April 120 put option back for $19.53, which created a massive loss in the position. I then switched the position over to a leap spread where I bought the January 105 call option for $15.38 and simultaneously sold the January $150 leap call option for $3.90. I sold that January 150 leap call option to help pay for the volatility that I was paying up for in that long leap call that I bought at the 105 strike price. Fast forward a couple weeks and Pepsi was looking better, as was the overall market. So at that point, I felt comfortable switching all my positions back over to a short put position. With subsequent rolls over the next several months, you can see that at the very bottom in the small black box on November 20th, we exit this position with an overall profit of $612.47. Options are an awesome tool you can use in adjusting and managing trades that have gone against you. If you'd like more information on how we use leap options to generate awesome returns and monthly cash flow, check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled Leap Option Trading Strategy when you're finished with this video. Before we get to the bonus fourth technique, in the comments below, let me know what subjects you would like future stock and option trading videos to be on. Is there an area in stock and option trading that you're struggling with? Please let me know in the comments below what subjects you would like future videos to be about. Now on to this fourth bonus technique that I know you're going to like because it's definitely using some out of the box creative thinking. This is another very powerful technique you can use to repair trades that have gone wrong. Here you see two trades we did about a minute apart on October 9th of last year. I've been fairly bullish on the GEO group, ticker symbol GEO, but after being in this trade for about three months, I began to have an uneasy feeling about this company. But I did not want to come out of pocket a wad of cash to close this position out. So what could I do to create a situation where I could swap out a bad position for one that I really liked and had faith in while doing this for a credit and not having to come out of pocket a bunch of cash? Here is what I did. I bought to close a short put option, as you can see in the red rectangle in the GEO group, for $6.30. Almost simultaneously, I sold a new put option in Equity Residential, ticker symbol EQR, for $6.70. So I walked away with about a net of $0.40 cents per share cash for the put I sold in EQR. In order to get this trade done for a credit, I had to go in the money on EQR. When I did this trade, as you can see here, EQR was trading around $56 per share. So the $6 short put option that we sold was $4 in the money. But unlike the GEO group, I felt confident that Equity Residential was a solid company that I wanted to be in for a long time. If you find yourself in a position in which you have sold options in a company and something changes so you no longer feel comfortable being short those options, Try to find another company that you do feel comfortable with and consider selling a put option in that company to offset what it will cost you to close out the bad trade. As you can see in this example, I'm even willing to sell an in the money put option 
and go out in time, like I did here, to get out of a company that I no longer feel comfortable being in. It's a good thing I trusted my gut feeling because as you can see here, Geo has continued to decline ever since we got out of that position. On the other hand, you see that Equity Residential has turned into a very profitable position for us, even though the initial put we sold was $4 in the money. As you have seen, beyond the shadow of a doubt, you absolutely can fix your option positions that have gone against you. If you'd like more information on how we go about rolling put options, including those that have gone deep in the money, check out the video in the link above and description below entitled How to Roll Over Put Options. If you'd like more information on all of our exact trades, including live alerts as soon as we do a trade, check out the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.